The welcome screen in Rider allows us to create new projects, open projects, or check out from version control. And this easily allows us to connect to GitHub, CVS, Git, Mercurial, etc. So for instance, if I want to check out some code from a Git repository, I can just enter the URL, the folder where I want the code checked out, and click clone. In our case, we're going to create a new project. Now Rider currently supports a few different types of projects, class library and console application using MS build or .NET 4.6 or prior, the MT project, and then we also support core CLR. However, this is currently limited to RC1, but future updates are coming. Let's go ahead in our case and create a console application. Click next, provide the project name, solution name, solution path, and click finish. Rider has now created the project for us. We can see that on the left hand side, we have the solution explorer that we're accustomed to in Visual Studio. And we have some information about the tool set that we want to select, the runtime, etc. So if we click on program.cs, we can then from here start to work with the code. So I can write console, write line, hello from Rider. To build and run the application, what we need to do is select the actual build tool that we're going to use and the runtime. In my case, I have Mono 4.2.2. We can also configure the runtimes here. So it should detect automatically any runtimes installed. We can explicitly add them by selecting the plus sign at the bottom. We will select Mono. And now we can right click and say Run Console Application 3. It will build and run the application. Much the same way, we can also debug. So I could say var some value equals 2 plus 3 and set a breakpoint. Select either the right click and debug or the shortcut key and hit debug. And we can see that we can now step through. We have the variables, we have stack frames console output over here, we have features such as evaluate expression, which allows us to see the actual value step through and run.